Hi, welcome to Captain Georgia. This is a series for basic navigation. Today we'll be discussing geographic and magnetic north, adjusting and swinging your compass on your boat, and converting between true, magnetic, and your ship's steering compass. Each lesson is approximately three minutes in length. Let's get started. To utilize your compass properly, you need to understand that your compass doesn't point north. It points to magnetic north. And if it's on your boat, it's being affected by the magnetic field from your boat and potentially things around it. That deviation away from magnetic north is giving you incorrect heading information and can affect where you think you're going versus where you actually are going. Remember, we have a magnetic north, a true north, and we have the metal interference and magnetic field interference from your boat. The magnetic interference is going to affect your compass's ability to point properly to magnetic north. And in fact, depending on the heading of your boat, it will affect it differently. The first step in correcting this and to make your compass properly point to magnetic north is to adjust your compass. We need to adjust this so that your compass points properly to magnetic north or as close as possible from every possible heading in 360 degrees. So it doesn't matter which way your boat's going, your compass will point as close as possible to magnetic north and you will know the deviation involved when it's not, say, you're pointing east. Your deviation might be zero degrees or it might be 15 degrees. You need to know what that is and you need to know what that is for every heading on your boat. So let's do a quick overview of swinging your compass, making these adjustments and then creating a deviation table. The basics here is that we want to find some known object somewhere. It could be a radio tower, it could be a marker on a channel, it could be a building. It needs to be one with a known magnetic heading. Now in this simple example, we've just put a pole in the water and we've made it precisely magnetic north from our position for convenience. But you can use any item at any heading as long as you have a known magnetic north. You can also do this with your GPS compass, or you can do this against a known compass that you bring onto the boat, or you can do this with a flux gate compass, depending on what kind of equipment you have on board. So the idea is to get it as close as possible, all 360 degrees, and then to note with our deviation table the differentials for each heading. So you can take that into account when you do your course plans. First step in swinging your compass to start east at 90 degrees as a cardinal magnetic heading and adjust our north-south. And then we would go south and adjust our east-west. Then we would come west to 270, correct by half on the north-south adjustment, come north to zero, correct again by half, and then finally going around on the northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest headings, correcting any final observed deviation. So once your magnetic compass is properly aligned, we can create the deviation table. There are still some minor variations, all based on various headings of your boat. So this is an example of a deviation table. This particular deviation table has a degree heading every 15 degrees and a deviation degrees amount for each heading. If your heading happens to be in between two, let's say 000 and 015, You'll look at the deviation table degrees, in this case 5 east and 0, and you can say halfway would be 2.5 east. And that's how you'd make that extrapolation to adjust for in-between headings. Again, deviation is based on your boat's heading. It varies depending on which direction your boat is pointing. Let's take an example. We're sailing magnetic north, 000 degrees on our compass. But because we did our deviation tables, we found that our compass was off five degrees to the east. So we need to compensate for that in order to truly sail magnetic heading of 000. So what we'll do, we'll turn west to compensate for the east deviation. We'll turn it five degrees. Our boat is traveling magnetic north. So now that you've completed your compass adjustments and you've created a deviation table, Whichever heading you're going, you can make the final adjustment to assure that you're going in the right direction.